This is where Lagos meets London. Where Peckham boys chilling in Ushapa, London. As Murikala Mohammed, Heathrow is, on his, is where London Bridge links Todd Milan Bridge via Coast. This is where Lagos meets London. The magic is in the doing. Come on! You really need to just step into the unknown, <laughs> feel the fear. But yes. just do it anyway. I feel Alice just reload it one more time. Reload it one more time. Let everyone time. be quiet so we can let them know. Let them yeah. understand what the you're doing. The magic listen. is in the doing. Hmm. You really need to just step into the unknown. Yeah. Feel the fear, mm. but just do it anyway. Just do it. <laughs> just do Good it. Anyhow, <laughs> just do it. Anyway. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> if Nike has not taken that one, I will have trademarked that one. Whoa. I you still can. Whoa. No, no. I'm, not ready, I'm not ready to pay some empty. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That might start showing up on shirts soon. So Honestly. It should. So it should. Merch, merch OJ, will, OJ, will OJ, will OJ will make a shirt. OJ will make a shirt. <laughs> OJ will definitely <laughs> make a shirt. Trade market soon. I'm the one that I was the one that wrote it. I was the one that like when I was doing my research, I was the one that wrote it out. So I'm trade market soon. It. I will. Although it, it was your voice anyway. So yeah, yeah, I love it. Once you start speaking, I knew it's like damn, you know she's quoting me. If you guys didn't know where I got that from, it is from. We'll find out who it's from. Ah, the one at her, yeah. We'll find out who it's from. <laughs> try, try, Stick around. Try. Anyways. Yes, my people, you already know the vibes. Each and every time we are back, Lagos meets London with another episode. I go by the name of Hacker the Host alongside... Miss Ali. <laughs> alongside... Yes, people, it's your boy OJ, not Simpson. Mr. Lagos meets <laughs> oh, London himself. Yeah, OJ. <laughs> and go. we've got a special, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> people, ladies and gents, boys and girls, yes, audio listeners, video yes. viewers, mommy and yes. daddy, mommy and daddies, uncles and aunties, everyone that might be invested. Whoa. Guys, we have CNN, <laughs> President's and... ITV, yes, <laughs> BBC, BBC, this day, this Sunday day. Times, eh? Lagos State Ambassador <laughs> of Tourism, eh? Miss Lagos today, London tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh. She talked the talk and walked the walk. The walk, walk. That's and drove the drove. She drove the drove. That's where that's where I was going next. The first woman to solo drive yes, from so. London. Yes, so. I, I wanted to list the countries: London, Paris, Spain. Please, we'll be here for a while. From, yeah, we'll be here from for London. A while. To so, all the way to Lagos, to Nigeria. Lagos. What? Yeah, we, no be beans, though. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no be cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Show today, walkies. Today on Lagos meets London, <laughs> we yes, have so. Oluwakpe Lumi. Mm. Yes, so. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> what? what? I'll tell you intro. for free. Nobody <laughs> has got intro like that. Nobody. I know. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. The Break that intro. <laughs> Break the intro. Yes, yeah, let's go around the room. Yes, I have so to give you ten. a good nine. Thank you very you much. Well. I appreciate Bro, it. Bro, I'll give you a 10. That's no a solid 10. That's, that's a solid 10. That's a solid 10. That's a solid 10. Hey, what's the yeah. one? Oh, yes, I'm just rolling on the floor. That's the only one. For, <laughs> for Alice to even give me nine, I'm up <laughs> exactly. My ass is full. Alice is not going to give me a 10. That is, she's mine. She always keeps me in check, you know, like... So yeah. no, I'm we've happy. got, we've got a special it. guest. I love it. Guys, I'm excited. Okay. Everybody's excited. Let's let's hear let's hear your voice. Yeah, it's true. We're Guys, just hear your voice. Sorry. Thank you so, so much excited. for having me. No, it's an absolute joy. Like honestly, my head is swelling. I've had to I have to support. <laughs> I need supporting structure right now. Nah, I'm really grateful to be here and thank you so so much. I'm excited for this conversation. Whoa. Guys, before we get into it, make sure you are. Liking, liking, commenting, subscribing Edger. on our YouTube channel. Edger. We are everywhere on all platforms. Please, oh. Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram. Please, oh. We are on all streaming platforms. We are on oh. Audio Mic. We are on Jollof Radio. We are on Apple, Apple. We are on Spotify. We are everywhere. Radio. We are on Suya and I Radio. know you want to get involved Audio and just... listen to our conversations with Pelu Minubi. So please. make sure you are following OJ us OJ has everywhere. told us that it's not <laughs> reflecting. So please, guys, yes. like, comment, subscribe so we can elevate. <laughs> Literally. Please, oh. Please. Literally. Thank you. <laughs> and guys, I'm just going to add, follow Pelumi Nubi's YouTube page. Oh, follow her right. page, subscribe. I was going to say, me personally, I 
I would, I've looked at your journey. I spent time, hours. You don't want to know. Just looking at everything. I think it should actually be a movie. Come on. If I could, Netflix. I'll make it into a movie. <laughs> Prime. If I could, I'll make it into a movie. Oh but I don't gosh. have the resources. Mm -hmm. I, like, no, just looking, I was so invested. It, it just felt like a movie. Everything that happened. Mm -hmm. Hopefully someone picks it up and they make it a movie. No, definitely. So yes. Bellumi can retire early and in cash fact. out. Listen, can I start we, living we in Maldives. <laughs> <laughs> We've put that out there for you now. There. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm here for it. Inshallah. Inshallah. Are we going to play the game just to warm up? Oh, yeah, we're up. just going to... I think we have even over one more, but <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll, still, we'll still try and we'll still try one more. Still on the first, the first... last For this game that I have, that I've come up with, the person that comes last, you're not eating item seven. Hi. No, that's just not going to That's not fair. You I'm just all. watch the rest eat. I'm, all, I, I'm not agreeing. I'm not playing okay, let me Let me say the game. And then if you feel like... No, I'm eating item seven. I don't, where <laughs> yeah, let's say wherever the game is. <laughs> all right, okay. It. No worries. Every, like, we're inclusive. Everybody will eat. Just to warm up. So we're going to do... We're going to go around countries in Africa. Countries Hi. in Africa. You only got two seconds mm -hmm. to voice out your country. Mm -hmm. And be careful. You don't want to go viral. <laughs> I trust producer. <laughs> they will clip you. <laughs> it's 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 go. Yeah, Countries in Africa. Okay, we're gonna start. Let's let Pelumi. Let's let, let Pelumi start. Okay. Yes. Where, which way is it going? It's this gonna way. go that way. Then. Okay. Yeah. Go you on. ready? Yes. Egypt. Oh, you have Algeria, okay. Morocco. No, we to hear very well. Algeria or Nigeria, like Al 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 yeah. Al Algeria. <laughs> two seconds, please. Morocco. Two Gambia. Ah, it was more than two. That was more than no, two. No, no. I didn't know you guys already started. Oh, no, I didn't know you guys had started again. No, I lied. Them I lied. No, no. I no. <laughs> No, 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 see, no, see, no, it's starting the time. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's be clear when we're starting. Everything is on timing now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Morocco. Algeria. Egypt. Ivory Coast. Mauritania. Zimbabwe. Mauritius. Benin Republic. Guinea. Nigeria. Kenya. Joss. <laughs> Sorry, just what? Just what? Just where? Just, 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 just how? <laughs> okay, you're gone. You're done. Um, <laughs> oh, where am I? It's it's you, but where? Yay! Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Go. Okay, Guinea Bissau, Cote d'Ivoire, Malawi, Ghana, Niger. No, no, no. no it's we're not taking Nigeria again. <laughs> I said Niger. Niger. Niger Delta. Niger Co. Niger. Niger. Mm. It wasn't convincing. It wasn't convincing. <laughs> it wasn't at all. That's it. That's I'm enough. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. And this is I come out of the game. So, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, Mom. Um, I don't remember anything else. You ready? Hmm, okay, yeah. Tanzania. Kenya. South Africa. Malawi. Yeah, Botswana. Okay, okay. She's uh, got Ah, uh, no, sorry. I really got time. <laughs> she said, I knew that Kenya, Kenya was said already. You should have seen yeah, Pelumi. Oh, she, she, she should have seen Pelumi when I came up with the guys. Like, what's wrong with this people? <laughs> you feel you feel 87 countries. Are you playing with me? Now you play with me. Like, what kind come of on, let's, yeah. let's wrap this up quickly. <laughs> <laughs> let's thank you for letting me win. Let's <laughs> no way we will win. Imagine that. I didn't win this yeah, idea. Yeah, no way. Let's wrap, let's wrap this up. There's no way we will win that. There's no way we will win that. That was a good one. That was a good, a good one. That's a good one. Um, and we're gonna just to get showcase into... that, you know, yeah. Africa is more than one country. Yeah. You know, yeah. There's yeah. 54, you know, countries. So. We're going to talk more about that later on. Mm -hmm. But, well, I mean, do you feel like everyone's using each other for clout? Hmm. Good question. We all. That's a good one. <laughs> I, I want to hear what you're going to say, but then I'm going to relate it to you as well. Okay, that's but interesting. Let's hear what you've got to say. I see as humans, you know, mm -hmm. there's just that you always, I think I've said, I had a friend, these conversations like, oh, why does this person hit me up when they need something or something like that? Mm. And I think it's just like a natural thing. I My my problem is when you just become like a leech and you're just sucking and you're not right. adding value back. Right. But I want to give as long as I get something back. Mm -hmm. So y yes, in a, in a sense, it's just that people are not doing it right. They're just mm -hmm. kind of like wanting to, it's almost like when I have a conversation with someone, it's like, yeah, you provide a service or something like that. I want to, you know, be part of that, but mm -hmm. I'll try and add some extra value to you. Mm -hmm. so, Relating yeah. that to you, that's such a great answer to be fair, because mm, it's like, perfect. I feel like not a lot of people are like you out there. Mm. That feels like, okay, I, as long as I have to give, mm -hmm. I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. Some people just have a breaking point, you mm -hmm. know, and they're just like, I can't do this anymore, anymore. even though they have it. Sure. Um, but relating to you mm. in regards to clap. So when you did this whole journey from London to Lagos, mm -hmm. do you feel like a lot of people, especially, I'm calling out some people because I noticed Ooh. this. I'm, I noticed this is. Just Ooh, we me. call it out. Um, <laughs> Don't go and the, disturb the Nigerian something. government. <laughs> do you feel feathers. like they jumped on your cloud? 
Hmm. Do you feel like before you went to, <laughs> let's say you, you didn't get famous hmm. or this your your journey didn't go viral, hmm. do you feel like when you got to Lagos, they would have been like, ah, well, maybe I'll throw you a party or, you know, jumped on all the things they did for you? Do you Remember like- Mabasado. <laughs> Before anything, but but I think I think the most important thing mm-hmm. is I was in a lot of situation before I even got to Lagos. Remember okay. that you know yeah. I was stuck at the border. I had mm-hmm. a car accident, and honestly speaking, the Nigerian ambassador, um, um, ambassador, yeah, or just the, the embassy, government. the government, yeah. stepped in. Oh, for that, I will give them credit now, for. No, I'm happy to hear that. 1,000%. Literally, mm-hmm. Liberia was stuck for two days. And wow. it's until I called the embassy to be like, look, I'm stuck out here. Mm-hmm. They were able to send someone. Mm-hmm. Um, does it reflect positively? I'm glad they jumped on the cloud, I honestly. Of course. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I got so many messages that, look, if this thing I did, my country don't care, you know? Mm. So I think it was a really positive narrative that they put out there. Mm-hmm. Um, that, look, we celebrate our very own. Mm-hmm. You know, was it more than I even thought? Yes honestly because wow. I was just like I went to visit the governor just out of politeness yeah, of and stuff like mm-hmm. that so I was not expecting all of that stuff mm-hmm. am I complaining about it Hell no, no. <laughs> we love it we love, I was just we love to see it but that. I think they are making effort especially the, the Lagos State Governor um, His Excellency mm-hmm. I really think because it's not just me there have been other people even Tune that just finished his own um, yeah, the chess. chess guy yeah, yeah, yeah. he also yeah. saw him the guy that swam across to you know um, bring Talking awareness yeah, 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 exactly yeah. for suicide yeah. he also saw so I don't think it's a one-off wonder I, 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 think. I completely get that but it's just like so, for you to get the attention of the government, do you need to, to do, do something of like course. Doing sometimes? Something yeah, I think maybe that's what I want to encourage people: just do, not yeah. do the basic stuff. Like, do mm. do something audacious, do step out of your comfort zone, mm-hmm. do something a bit grandiose. Yeah, I really, I don't think that's fault. You know, you can't just reward I'm not mediocrity. Them. I just want to know what. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. About that. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Alice has a problem with the government. I love it. You know, I mean, if, if you look at Nigerian <laughs> government in in terms of the way they've undoed like exports like talents mm. it, it, yeah. it's not, there's no good it's, it's no good track record mm. so that's why there's people there's like Chioma Junwa mm. someone at 100 meters mm-hmm. the hearing that these people are broke now mm. you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. so that's why Alice I think it's a good question to it say it's a good I'm question I'm only using for clout you mm. get what I'm saying like okay because these people are popping now mm. but, but there's good clout ask, and there's bad clout there's mm-hmm. good clout and there's bad clout. Yeah. Because so, imagine they didn't even say you're, anything. You're, yeah. Like, yeah, imagine they didn't say anything. That would have been so sad. Yeah. That would yeah, have exactly. been even, something exactly. even, even so worse, I think. So sad. That's good. Yeah. The clout makes sense. Exactly. 100%. The clout makes sense. I just wanted to ask something because in one of the videos I watched, they said they're going to... I don't... I heard that they said <laughs> they will pay for the trip. Mm-hmm. I don't... I've we been, sent the invoice in today, so... Oh. oh, we're hoping. Baba Jide song will I'm not, no. Say you're dead. Baba <laughs> Jide, no. Come and let us interview you as well. Say you're dead. Baba Jide song will lose. Like, for them no, 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 no. Like, they, they, they're, they're, they're on it. You know, I got yeah, the car the same day. Good. You know, the that's house good. allocation is, you know, um, mm-hmm. in work. So I don't think it's just for the words. I no, don't you know. see, that's I, what, that's exactly. It's a valid exactly. question though, mm-hmm. because Nigerians are known to talk to do, and not do their actions. Right, right. So far... I'm, I have I'm nothing so, bad to say. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I'm, I'm gonna so we're even gonna I'm come so and touch back on that. I'm so happy. My 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 question is how <laughs> did you navigate frustration hmm. in terms of before the trip, your whole trip, even like you saying, I'm already stuck. liking this interview. Can I just like, say that? By the way, like, <laughs> that's why you need to come. Like, you see, we don't I feel that some people they only, they only leave. I love it. Some Hold people on. only leave. No, <laughs> we're invested in you. I love it. No, of like, course. I can't. That's why I'm, I'm saying, just saying I just it's not like it. ability. Some people they only leave. Mm. Ah, of course. For clout. That's a good word. Did you say I've been even know we have been? Yes, no. I love that. This is our thing. It's best. It's our thing. It's our person. So you will know. No, hundred percent. Yeah. Shakespeare no dude passed this at all. Oh, at all. Like, how but, did you... But hold on, Palima, I don't want you to see it as an interview. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're having a no, conversation. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm We're really loving the way it's going. Does that make no, sense? Like, 100%, it's, not, it's not stale. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Not stale. But yeah, like, how did you navigate your frustration? Because even me, that I haven't done such... Hmm. Trying to navigate frustrations in certain situations, oh, I find it hard. Mm. So, situations that you was in, mm. where it's... You're not two minutes from your house, mm-hmm. or you haven't got the phone to call... You know what I mean? How did you get through certain situations? Even being stuck, just mm. talk us through it. Sorry, but I was yes. just going to say, uh, Aka, what you said, it's just like planning an holiday, just two people. Mm. It's, it's almost like, yeah, you're I'll almost going, yeah, and then and now you're planning like, you guys, and we'll Lumi just, is planning. Sorry. <laughs> Me and Lumi. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, 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 For those who don't you, know who Lumi is, guys, Lumi is a big character. <laughs> just wait. London, Paris, Spain, mm. Morocco, Mauritania, Senegal, Gambia, 
Guinea, Syria alone, Liberia, Ivory Coast, Ghana, That's different people, Togo, Benin Republic, languages. before Nigeria. At least even know the correct route, because someone said Botswana in that list. I'm like, <laughs> bro, how did he get there? But, <laughs> but let's not go there. Nah, but different <laughs> languages. Was that, was that correct? Though? That was, was 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah, how, how, how was it? How was yeah. it? Cool. Understanding that you're human, you know. Okay. I wasn't. Th- there's clips of me crying on the internet. Exactly. No, you know. Exactly. And it's I, crazy. I I definitely allowed myself to feel all the emotions mm-hmm. and let out emotions. You know, I got angry. I screamed at them. I mm. cried. I you know ranted on camera. I diaried. I called friends up. Like, <laughs> you know, I think just not storing it inside of me and just finding outlet to just let it go. If it's literally playing, you know, music and blasting it and just screaming on top. Of my lung, you know, um, and just roll with the punches. I think not having expectation that this is how it's gonna be, but instead just like you know, okay. And it's a, it was a learning call for me. Like imagine. you know, sometimes I have to be humble myself. Like I'm just like you know, you're in a foreign land, mm. so just, just don't mad. Exactly. There are sometimes that the gra gra will work. Sometimes at uh, one time I was filming and the guys they all I was like, uh, uh, we are partying now. I cannot <laughs> play no with you. I cannot play with you. <laughs> so you know, just having the uh, it's, I don't know what's instinct, insight. It's just yeah. you know, over time adaptability. Adaptability. Got to be flexible. There's sometimes you're munching in your muscle need to come out sometimes you have to be vulnerable I'll, I'll feel soft. like do do like yeah. like some dumb person like ah, yeah. I meant to do that oh, really? I don't know oh, help me save me did yeah, they not know. have any any anywhere that you had altercations did mm. they not have that sympathy or oh, or look at it like oh this this woman is doing something great let us Push up or they were still there was some, there was no 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 they were definitely human human connection I think Sierra Leone especially they don't allow um, right hand vehicle I got there and that was the video that I was crying and the officer looked at me <laughs> I think so it was just like bro you know spoke to his superior and gave me gave me money he gave me SIM card sorted out. He stamped the pass. You know, like it was just so many things that I went out of his way to do. So I definitely saw, you know, I saw both sides of humanity. You mm. know, the really good one and the one that I'm just and like. people that said, no. Nope. No, nope, they don't care. I know those people that are wrong and then they just get, yeah, you know, yeah, into strong, it like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah that was yeah, Liberia. Yeah. I was like, we are wrong, but we are still but not wrong. <laughs> we are like, really? <laughs> That's crazy. Because did any lot, like, did any of the frustration that you faced, mm make you want to be like you know what i'm done i'm let me just go back home <sighs> quitting wasn't an option i know, you oh, know i love that quitting really wasn't an option because at first it was just believe me traveling you know that like believe me has done this so many you things to so many countries. 80 plus countries like That's you know insane. like it's been a lot of countries mm-hmm. so believe me was just traveling she just did this a big adventure but there was something right from the get-go that i was like already knowing that this is not normal you know from twelve thousand followers to 100k followers within one week of announcing it mm-hmm. that wasn't normal you know so i'm like people are invested and then you start getting the flood of dms like oh my god you inspire me to change my life you, you know wow. my young 10 years old girl is you know asking about you and your journey and we're talking about you in our home you're literally a conversation over a dining table you know like those kind of things you can't quit when did you, you have... expect that no Absolutely like not. You generally, you, you were just like, I had an inkling that something big was about to happen. That's the best I can say. I was in, I was on the bus one day, mm-hmm. and then like two Yoruba women in front of me, they were like, Ah, you want to get here to dance, you know? I was like, I swear. Oh my see, god! What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? I was like, Wow, like this is like yeah, had people. Everybody in yeah, the I, I, I love how it's really crossed between like race, age. You know, yeah, as of yeah, yesterday, a sixty-five yeah. years old woman. That's like I'm sixty-five years old, and you would feel to almost revive my life like that was a comment like I was just like wow like I was just out there doing my own thing Mm -hmm. but it has really pulled on people's heart it's like you know I want to do things I want to be audacious I want to step out of my comfort zone literally Literally, mm-hmm. that's Honestly, what I took audacity. from it. I have to applaud that. <laughs> no, hundred percent. Because I took from that is just do you w- do what you want to do. Do what you gotta and do. And don't give up until you actually get there. Because that's exactly, exactly what you've done. People mm. look at it and like, oh, she drove from London to Lagos. Mm. Like it's something. That's not something small. Mm. That's not. Do you understand what I'm saying? You didn't well. take a a big Range Rover or a G wagon. That can... I took Lumi. Exactly. <laughs> that <laughs> Lumi. I to big ask, up Lumi. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I Lumi. Big up Lumi. I miss her, man. Because your when, connections when, must be crazy. I know Lumi is quite old. When you bought her, do you remember how much you paid for her? Three oh, grand. Three wow. thousand pounds. Wow. Well. Mm-hmm. Would you three now grand. say that that is the best free grand you spent in your life? Best, 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 best. You know, I got her from someone. I remember the day I bought her. It was a faraway distance, and I bought a one-way ticket. 
a one way train ticket because I just back. knew that, that I was gonna, gonna take I'm coming back. that I'm coming back That's with her. Crazy. You know, so th that connection has been there from beginning. Mm -hmm. Um she was just getting rid of it because she was pregnant and it was a small car and she wanted a big car for safety. And it was just like, oh, you know, I we've just been riding for about I've had it for about five years plus. Okay, wow. so you bought it prior to you even wanting to do this. So you didn't buy the car no! for the travel. Like it was literally my London vehicle. Like that's, that's why I took wow. to work and stuff and my road trips in the UK and stuff like that. So that was just my normal car. You said work. What did you do for work? That's a good one. We keep yeah, it low-key. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? So work, work, I was doing a PhD. So I was doing okay. cancer research in human genetics. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I did a, I did a PhD pre- COVID, when pandemic happened, mm -hmm. lab closure happened, mm -hmm. there was a whole thing, a whole situation there. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, travel became more important for me. Right. Obviously, people know, Palumi, you've done your trip now. Mm -hmm. People know. Where in where in London will you say you're from? Because I've noticed something. Mm -hmm. Most white people, mm -hmm. when they see, I don't know if it's just me, they will ask you, where are you from? Yeah. Do you it's say, very, very am I from... Question. Am I from, uh, oh, I, I'm from South New Cross or oh, yeah. you say, oh, I'm, I'm, from, London, I'm, I'm from Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. It depends yeah. on the situation. When I'm traveling, I actually quite lean more towards Nigeria just because, you know, they've not seen that and that level of representation, does that make sense? So I'm always true. kind of like saying Nigeria. Um, but when I'm in the UK, I just say London. I come from London, which is so Croydon. Where, where, oh, Croydon. Croydon. Yeah, I was oh, born okay. in Croydon. Well, I was born, sorry. I That's grew up in grew Croydon, up in. yeah. Oh, okay. So I went to St. Mary's for high school. I did. Were you born in Nigeria? Yeah, I was born in Nigeria. So I spent yeah. my first 10 years there. Aww. Then I moved to Beulah Primary School, all of that. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So what, if, if we dial it back, those first 10 years in Nigeria, where mm. where in where in Nigeria? Alagbado. In Lagos? In Lagos. Wow. I was born in Lagos, yeah. So do you, what, your early memories, those 10 years, how, how was that like living in Lagos? I actually asked my mom, I was like, what was I like, like a baby? You know, when you just kind of find hint of what made you be who do you, you are, pictures? like this version of Pelumi. Mm -hmm. I just like, we don't know, man. Like you were just in your diapers exploring the house. So I think that curiosity and just, you know, so you've always been I've always been gallivanting, clearly. <laughs> so I think that has always been a thing. Um we my both parents are working class. Um so we had more of nannies and grandmas growing up. So the freedom mm -hmm. was always there. You know, we had yeah. discipline, but there was no it wasn't strict. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't strict, strict in terms yeah. of like what you can do and where you can go. So we had that, I think that freedom was always kind of thing I, I loved. You know, we're kind of told you cannot do this. There was just, there was just a liberal kind of sense yeah. to our family. It's just not conventional. It's definitely not a conventional upbringing. Siblings. Two brothers, two older brothers, super protective, love them to bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only girl, only 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 girl. Last so what did they? I'm not spoiled. So everyone says that. So that's, that's fine. Shut up. You're not spoiled. What did they say <laughs> when you told them that? Like, obviously, Nigerian parents. Mm. Like, oh, mama, dri I'm driving from. <laughs> that's what, an interesting what did they say? Like, what, yeah, I was. Because I tell reaction. my mama I'm going to Manchester uh -huh. on the train. It's like, you okay? <laughs> Please, oh, just take time. Oh. <laughs> We're now driving. <laughs> um, mom, I think just understanding what your, how your parents think. So that's how I always tell people, look, if your parents don't let you travel or something like that, find a way to convince them in the way they think, you know. Mm. So my, my dad is logical. So it was very much look that I've researched it for about a year. I've spoken to this person, this person, mm -hmm. this person, this is my plan. This is the mood map. Mm -hmm. Like show him something really logical. Sure, mm -hmm. things, and my yeah. mom is more emotional. So it's very much like, don't worry, I'll call you every day. I've planned this. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. I have the tracker. You can track me on your phone. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Like, you know, air tag. I had the air tag on me and everything. Mm -hmm. So okay. just having that. But again, it was more of the track record of the travels I've done in the past. Remember, this okay, was not okay, just okay, okay. Yeah, spontaneous. Yeah, 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 I'm doing yeah, London yeah, to Lagos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done solo drive across Namibia, uh, pack pack across you know South Africa, uh, South um South America. So there've been so many adventures I've done so in the past. Church, this is yeah. working. <laughs> so it's like working. you know we've done so many. Yeah, I've gone to Australia. 20, like you know, 2022. She's having like 20, just 20, um, 2022, 20 mm -hmm. likes. Go and check today. Mm -hmm. Any post, 160 comments. <laughs> 200. Because it's inspirational. 50,000 likes. Do you know what I mean? like, yeah. It's inspirational. Nah, it's inspirational. The, the love is real, honestly. And I, I love the community that has you know, grown up with, with this. It's kind mm. of really, really... And I love how I translate, not just online. I actually have in real life you know, people too as well. People come to my events and hostings and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it's just, mm -hmm. it's really beautiful to see. Really beautiful. So you've always been Dora the Explorer. I've always been, you it's just know. Always, you've just always known. I've just always loved it. Like, you know, back, even back in uni, you know, that little change they used to give us. Like, you know, my friends were out there <laughs> Friday night clubbing. I'm catching a flight. What was your ever first destination? 
It was somewhere in the Scandinavia. I keep forgetting. It was in Finland. Where's next to Finland? Do you want me to help you? You can help ah, me. Don't OG. I'm sorry. No, no. Yeah, jog your memory. Jog your I'm memory. I'm trying to shake it up. I'm trying to shake no, it up. Help. What's next to no, Finland? No, no. What's right next to Finland? Oh, help me. Help me. I slept. No, no. I no, no wait, she said help. I help Do you me. want? Cool. No way. No way. That's the first. Yeah, no that was the way. Mm-hmm. So, oh, so <laughs> I've been stalking me heavy. No, I'm, no, a bit man, concerned now. I'm a bit concerned. It's, it's research. I'm listening. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember you did um did did the day after yeah. the, the podcast mm-hmm. you actually mentioned it mm-hmm. and that yeah. oh Jay stalker <laughs> oh, okay. wrap. do you know my home address <laughs> oh, no 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 I don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so do you feel like because you love traveling so much do mm-hmm. you feel the need to have your own agency mm. what prompted so Oremi travels Oremi so travels. it was very convenient I like uh, what prompted Oremi travel is I don't like when people say things are not possible that is like my biggest ache. It's like, mm. I don't know how people say it's not doable. It's not, po- it's just like, oh God, migraine immediately. So I was hearing a lot of, you know, comments about group trips are not possible. It dies in the WhatsApp group, blah, 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 blah. Mm. You mm. know, just ditch your friend and travel alone. And I'm a big advocate for solo travel. I think there's a joy in it. But there's also some occasions, especially post pandemic, we just realized that the people we love on, we need to travel with them, mm. you know? So like I kind of already travel focuses on, group trip with the people that you know already so okay. especially celebrating milestones so your 30th oh, yeah, your 50th travel. your bachelorette mm-hmm. those cannot be with strangers you need to travel with people so yeah it was just from that pace of pain point that people want to travel with people that they love and they just don't have the capacity to organize it by themselves and we just step in so just bring your crew and we'll plan the rest oh fantastic has mm-hmm. that has that picked up since like yeah 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 we've been doing amazing beforehand because it just comes with the it's not like pick a date and we're trying to fill up the dates people are already coming and they actually have kind of a rough idea and everything um i'm a traveler myself so yeah if you're looking for an adv- ambassador <laughs> yeah as long as you're a good host you love on people you're good with managing people I'm, we've been talking today okay let's I'm, you're actually I'm, I'm amazing also, that's uh, that's uh, true that's true no you're that's not true. If you need, <laughs> oh, don't be a hater if you need, if you need <laughs> somebody <laughs> to to you know warm the people the People, you're direct, I mean, <laughs> yes, do you know what I mean? Worry, Let's just worry. put ourselves it, out what, there. Exactly. What you said actually makes sense now. Or mm. Remy travels. It's yeah. like group of friends. Group of friends. Remy. Remy. Oh, yeah. 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 I was gonna ask. I was, I I was, yeah, I was gonna ask where, like, the name. The where does name, the name yeah, come it's from? Group yeah. of friends. Exactly. Oh, my friends. That's crazy. Oh, when you got yeah. a name like that, it's it's just it makes sense with the business. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? There's businesses that go, but. It or Remy Travel. You're already traveling. Check him out. Traveling with, with your with friends. friends. Exactly. So, yeah, Remy <laughs> Travel. Or Remy Travels link in the episode description. Come on. We'll check him out. <laughs> Go with your friends. You guys do like Africa. Yeah, Africa, Africa so, everywhere, yeah. Bali, Asia. So, so where, where everywhere. Where everywhere. Dubai, where everywhere. Or Remy, yeah. let's travel. Come <laughs> on then. Pardon me. <laughs> so, uh, well, you, you, uh, you went, I could mention all the challenges and everything. Mm. What? We saw the clip. That mm-hmm. was the one that went viral. What Which actually one? happened in Liberia? Mm. Do you want to break it down? I can, us? definitely. Yes, I can. Please. Liberia. Okay. So Liberia was like, you know, free from Sierra Leone. I'm coming to this place. Quite curious because there's not that much, you know, content out there yeah. about Liberia. And I was like, mm-hmm. okay, we'll do it. We'll promote it the way I've been doing for other countries. Mm-hmm. Um, Go to the border, go to immigration, go stamped in. Then you have to go to custom. A lady was there. She's head of, you know, their custom, madame, whatever. I said, ah, where's your car from? Very, very interesting accent, by the way, Liberia. Very, very, very interesting. A lady. Was a lady. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then she was like, oh, is it I was like, when do you get... Oh, you mean it's right-handed? I was like, yes. Oh, we banned right-hand vehicle. Wow. Okay. I'm I'm aware of this. Um, But you also have a bylaw that says if someone is transiting, mm-hmm. um, they're allowed to go through the country. Mm-hmm. No, it's a law that we is right hand vehicle. You cannot go. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So what do you, what do you want me to do now? You just have to turn back. What? Stop. Turn back to where? Where you are coming from? I was like, bruh. Mado. So that's how that night, and they were kind of closing up. Normally I come in the early, but something happened that it was kind of like time to go home. So they went home. I had to camp in my car, you know, per usual. I kind of camp in my car, but yeah. sometimes I find, you know, other um, places, but not by the border. It's just not the safe. It's just weird. It's a yeah, very yeah. weird spot to camp. Mm-hmm. So the next day I was like, you know what? We're going to sort out this mess but in the, the morning. The night when you camped at the border, were you mm-hmm. able, did you get any, did you, did you get any sleep? Not because really. It's very, it's not really. It's, it's hot. You know, there's some situation whereby, you know, you can put the window down and air it out, but just because of the situation, you're trying to close up and just wrap everything in place. 
Um, so I slept, but it wasn't the best. Were, were you it wasn't scared? the best. Mm, I wasn't comfortable. I won't say I was frightened for my life, but it wasn't just mm-hmm. ideal. It was just like yeah. let tomorrow That's come crazy. as quickly as possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, by tomorrow, they come into work, 9 o'clock, 11, last, I'm out of here. Uh-uh. They came to work. Ah, you're still here. I'm like, yeah. Same <laughs> Where do you want me to go? <laughs> Same woman? Same woman. Damn. I'm like, you must have had a nice, comfortable rest because I slept in my car, you know, literally like prancing and stuff. And then she was like, oh, you know, I spoke to my superior or something like that. Or I called somebody and they said it's the law. I was like, did you tell them about the bylaw? No, this, I know the law. This is the law. And the, the crazy thing is like, you know, she just wasn't listening. She, she wasn't just trying to wasn't hear trying anything. to hear it. She wasn't trying to help. She wasn't trying to. And our colleagues were frustrated with her. You know, they didn't want to show it in front of me. They even called her to a room like, ah, you cannot tell someone not to. Like, mm-hmm. she has echoes. She's, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, you know. Mm-hmm. And they kind of hinted. So I think what really pained me was like, I was, they literally, I overheard, it was like, if it's a white person, you let this person go. True now. They literally mm-hmm. said it. Like, they That's said crazy. in there, like, if it's a white man, they'll let this man go. Um... But she didn't. She literally, that's when I started. She still put her foot down. And it's those people that when they know they're wrong, they just keep hammering yeah. down. They keep going. Um, they kept, mm-hmm. She kept going. So I had to, at this point, I had to come with my dad and I called the embassy. I called like, just trying to get help. I was like, I'm trying to get out of here today because I'm like, <laughs> we're not sleeping here tonight, bro. But over time, because of just bureaucracy and just back and forth, I had to sleep there the second night. Wow. So it was two insane. nights. Wow. Two nights. Did you actually sleep though? Or was you in and out <laughs> of sleep? You just, it's, it's so yeah. hard to call it a proper night yeah. sleep because it's not that comfortable, you know? Um, so yeah, I slept there for the second night and then the next day when I got asked, you know when you wake up with a uh, holy I'm hanger? Like, like, no, that's when you saw that, vi- that video that I have been held hostage for 48 yeah, hours. That's, that's, that's when I saw, I saw Andy and there were some people trying to hold you back. <laughs> yeah. Like it was, I was fuming because I was just like I just feel like I was being violated like I just felt like you I was like how can you go home and sleep for two nights and you're holding someone and you're able to sleep at, in like Nigerian, what's I the mean, human we're exactly Africans. we're all Africans like what, I what? think she just had it in her that like, like nah. I, I was they were like no you know we need to see evidence that you're doing this thing or have government backing I was like what do you mean there's a sticker in there there's my social media page they're like go print I had to go print you know articles newspapers what? saying that they still didn't believe me they, so back and forth. So when we got to the next, so almost three days in this at this point, so I was like, okay, I'm going now. Like I'm literally. So they called him. So that's when he when he spoke to her, everything. Then they got the paperwork sorted out, and I was able to leave around three or something. So the what paperwork day. did they need? <sighs> Nothing. It was just one person just had to make being... a phone call. So that's the, um, so yeah, difficult. she was just yeah. being difficult. She was just that, being that's difficult. A bit extreme, I did get a paper that said I'm, ab- I'm able to transit and if I you know, get stopped by police, I can show them. But I could have done that the first night. They should have just done that. It's just kind of thing. She still didn't apologize. She's like, I was just doing my job. I was like, yeah, sure. So where can I go? I drove so quickly through Liberia. I did not stop once. I was pissed. I, I want to know. You said because we <laughs> oh, did you said that people were holding you in the videos. Who was recording all the videos? I was recording all the videos. How? Holding it. Like, Nobody was holding me. I don't know. Where like so no, no. I saw there was a place that like, oh. like, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> gonna, <laughs> no, 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 no. Change the narrative. No, I don't know. Where I, was, I, I, was, I, I heard that. I was like, oh. <laughs> no, 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 let me explain the scene. I'm sure it's there. I, I didn't just make it up. There was like somebody was screaming <laughs> in the background. Okay. Yeah, like in, just in the distance, someone was screaming like towards your camera. Does that oh, make sense? And there was just like people fighting. Okay, yeah, I see exactly. the scene you were talking about. I think someone stole something. It was just. I think I was just showing how dangerous because they were just like literally yeah, holding so, a stick yeah. and yeah yeah it's not lying it's not like there was a video clip like that. but you wasn't, wasn't getting held I, no no I wasn't so you were lying yeah you said holding me as <laughs> no, that I thought, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> correct <laughs> when she was like False okay narrative. I guess we're rolling with that narrative <laughs> I think that's why you're the best your... that's why you are the best you see, she even no. she even <laughs> pardoned she said okay no problem okay. Just, yeah, moving it's on. time we take a quick break okay um, <laughs> are we doing items seven I think people are on grill. <laughs> yeah, honestly, <laughs> I had to ask for a break. Producer. <laughs> Item seven. Item Guys, whilst we're, whilst we're, whilst we're taking our break, don't name? forget to... Joyce. 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 Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This episode... Come on, yeah. Ito. Joyce, the, Joyce. The episode... Don't, don't be shy. Don't, don't be shy. Is, come on, Ito. Have, <laughs> is it, come on. Yeah, don't forget it. to like, comment and subscribe, people, Imagine please. Imagine you drop that. It's like, I have it. Push. Because <laughs> we need... We will forgive you, Lyra. The subscribers. So we do we do you. we want to talk about the... Okay. The I think it's what it, no? Yeah, we have to. So we... This was given to us on this episode, given to Bellumi to... 
from the taste of Lagos. The restaurant it actually called, smells amazing. It does, yeah. Mm. This is shawarma. I don't, I don't want it to. That's Lagos. Lagos let me give. Yeah, Akla, if hand you it off. Please pass it around. Come on, so, <laughs> it's like offering bowl. <laughs> so that is proper Lagos shawarma here in London. Come on, energy. from the restaurant called The Taste of Lagos. The hmm. link you have to be... remove the cellophane. This cellophane. is why you want, you want to cast me, Abby. <laughs> I was Don't just worry. telling no, you so before no, you embarrass yourself. No, exactly. That's why OJ gave it to me. <laughs> so if it drops, <laughs> is it, is it, please. So the link to to the link to the taste of Lagos, the restaurant, is going to be in this episode description. It's yeah, obviously so, like so it's well this, texturized. Hold on, it this is, is solidified. An authentic, hold on, hold on. We've got their card here, and this is an authentic Nigerian catering, and they could cater for different events like your birthdays, weddings, christening, mm. social corporate Pop-up, events. Mm. They are they have different platforms. They've got a website, mm. Instagram, and an email that we will put in the yes. episode. But this looks absolutely fantastic. It and smells, we it smells divine. Absolutely let's let Kolumi take one first. Hey, can we get the tissue? tissue? Before yes. I, because oh. I'm that person. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm. No, this is really nice, guys. I wonder how this sounds with your head. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the audio listeners. <laughs> We are, <laughs> that's we're, loaded. We're Enjoyment. Mm. We are enjoying. Nigerian oh shawarma is the best, guys. Okay, but let me. What are you rating this? Because I know you just got back from Lagos. Did you try shawarma? I right? didn't, you know. You didn't. Mm-mm. Damn. You know, I love how loaded it is. You have the chicken, um, and then you have the hot dog. Yeah. Um, this is Joyce, by the way, guys. Um, Joyce, just say, say something for the people. <laughs> say hello. You look pretty. Say, let them know who you oh, are. Thank you. <laughs> Disturbing Joyce's enjoyment. Exactly. That which one is introduction again? The shawarma is really good, guys. Uh, She's Joyce in the shawarma. (laughs) What? This is nice, though. Hi everyone. Hi, hi, Lagos to no Lagos Lagos meets London. London. (laughs) Wow. Lagos meets London. Come on. Hi, Lagos meets London audience. I hope you guys are well. Uh, My name is Joyce. I'm Pulumi's uh, PR and brand partnerships manager. Walkings. And I'm the Come co-founder on. of Crescendo Digital. So we're an integrated PR and marketing agency mm-hmm. based between Africa and Tanzania, Arusha and London. And we, yeah, we're here to make magic work. And So you can help us with our PR. Art. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> hit me up. Hit me up. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, so what do you think? Yeah. Rate this out of 10. Ooh. Have you had shawarma before? Oh, yes, of course. Okay. Yes, Nigeria is in my blood. Like this, 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 this is Nigerian shawarma. You can tell. You can tell. The sauce, the sausage, everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, See ooh. Alex. Alex is saying <laughs> he's, he's just enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you did you did you expect to get something like this oh, taste mind. here in London? Mm. Not this because normally this in London, close. yeah. Mm-hmm. Normally in London, you have like that gentrified kind of like taste right, of food, right? Right. But this actually is really authentic, like, mm-hmm. and it's so filling as well, mm-hmm. right? There's so much, mm-hmm. so much mm-hmm. meat in there. Outside but sometimes, food. sometimes you know, some it's empty. Some restaurants. Is there, where's the rest? Yeah, where's the rest of my shawarma? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, <laughs> if I have three proteins in this, you have literally, he has three meat, he has hot dog. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Nice. Come on, look at that guy. Energy. Look. Mm-hmm. It's really energy, good. Energy. I'm finished. Tell me, what are you rating this? Ten out of ten, you know. Really? It's solid. Yeah. I have no complaint. Yeah, it has like spice as well in it. Yeah, the seasoning as well. It's not yeah. bland. It actually, actually, I have to agree with you. 10 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. 10 out of 10. We might have some more. Don't worry. So make sure you follow <laughs> Taste of Lon- Lagos mm-hmm. um, and show your appreciation. I don't even know. Okay, yeah. Okay. So make sure you follow them, order from them, patronize mm-hmm. them, tell them, tell your friends about them yeah, um, because you've just tasted their food and you... You liked it, so yeah, it was really good. Ten out of ten. Yeah, share the experience. <laughs> All day. Uh, All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you Bye. very much, Joyce. Bye. Taste of Lagos, guys. Please, when you when oh you go sub- when you go patronize them, tell them you heard about them from Lagos, Lagos meets London. Sorry. Go eat your shawarma, man. Trust me, then you'll be on our wave. <laughs> go, eat your go, go eat your shawarma. Right now, for the audio listeners, for the, audio- the producer <laughs> is producing. It's producing. Go I eat your shawarma and come back, brother. He said, and trust me, you'll feel how we're feeling. Producer said we were lost in the sauce, sauce. of the we shawarma. Was. We're sorry. We're we sorry. was. Yes, we was. was. That's how good it was. The shawarma was actually quite nice. Go eat your shawarma, mate. We're only humans. We're sorry. We're only humans. So now so we're guys, back. We're, we're going gonna to just follow it up to say, guys, and Chapman's of London, it's a very nice balance. It's a nice way to wash it down. It's the best way. Cold nice. one. I'm not arguing with Palumi. I'm Cold not arguing with Palumi. Guys, Palumi don't forget Chapmans of London. <laughs> the link is going to be in the description. Check it out, guys. Chapmans of London. Let yeah, us I'm know. Not even I'm let still... us know. Let us know how you feel. <laughs> so <laughs> are, are, are you ready? I'm good to go. So you know what? That brings us to foods of foods. Africa. 
You know, because you crossed how many OJ, how many countries? Oh, in Africa. So this... Um, no, just... Yeah, okay, yeah, in yeah, Africa. Like on this trip or overall? In On this trip. On this trip. So that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven countries. Am I... Is it correct? <clears throat> eleven? Thirteen. Is 13. It 13. Am I missing two? No, off. no, African countries. Mm -hmm. 13 African countries. Mm. So I missed two. So there's Morocco, Mauritania, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea. Guinea Bissau. Guinea, Guinea and then Guinea Bissau. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's <laughs> I missed that one. Guinea, Guinea Bissau. Then Syria alone. Mm -hmm. Liberia. Ivory Coast. Yeah. Ghana. Yeah. Togo. Mm -hmm. Benin Republic. Mm -hmm. Nigeria. Okay, we have to. Okay, well, we wanted to take the conversation away from Nigeria. Ah, That's why you, I didn't have to. Oh, yeah. You got to count it though. Yeah, you, 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 you got to count Nigeria. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, yeah I um, feel you. Food. I, I I did see um on your on your TikTok the woman that was making. Yeah, that was. Oh, that was, was, that was in the Ivory Coast. Coast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That changed my life. You know, so, but, yeah. I mean, I'm not the same <laughs> since I had that. That I looked at. That, I was like, wow. What is that, going on in the But then at the same time, I was thinking on your whole trip. Food, because you see me, I need to, sometimes, I, well, all the time, I need to eat what I know. Mm. If I'm in a different place, mm. I'll go for the safest option. Mm, mm, but mm. you crossing different countries, how did you feel like you're, you're eating? You're so eating. my principle with food is at least try it. Mm, okay. You know, I don't have to like Are it. Are you a foodie? I am a foodie. Nice. I do like, I like, mm -hmm. I like, I like eating. My favorite mm. food is the one that someone else cooked. So, <laughs> <It's not laughs> <everyone. laughs> exactly. I don't like cooking personally, but I like eating good food. Um, and I think there's a shame thing with people when they like try new food and they hate it and they're like, oh my God, but I should like it. No, you don't like it. And it's just more information for you. Mm -hmm. So it's because there's no shame attached to it. Even if it's just one grain that I put in my mouth or one putting the fuck inside the sauce yeah. and licking the, f I've tried it at least. Tried it. Mm -hmm. And most time I'm always quite like, some pres presently surprised about it. And I'm more of a texture than a flavor person so okay. i like the mixture of crunch and you know just mm -hmm. different flavor texture mm -hmm. when i'm when it's in my mouth um but yeah that moment mm -hmm. one was 10 out of 10 where where did you try on this your journey that you were pleasantly surprised by the food gambia, gambia. gambia. do you remember the meal i can't remember specific names i can describe them to you but i can't remember specific names. they had this okra soup that was like just extra palm oil in it mm. and they paired it with rice which is not my thing Sorry? but it's so Come bad again. it really does rice and Ila. honestly i was it's the same. Drawing. it oh, it, I've tried that, it drew but it was nice not i don't that, know how to explain just it rice and Ila. i don't know when I, it was I'll so try. good it was so good and they have this like shared meal as well it's rice with, like pulled you no know, lamb like they cook it like she's been like half a day making all these foods and stuff like that yeah. so it's just really really nice there's just similarity to nigerian kind of food but more like just a little bit of variation so i i ate my soul out. was it there was... any that you was that uh, you don't have to say the country but was there any well, why not the let, 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 let them educate <laughs> honestly i think west africa have more of a variation if you're going to east africa just carry a hot sauce with you because that's it's all i'm saying bland. that's all i'm saying Wow. East African. Put some, I, put some hot sauce. Are in you your someone bag. that likes a lot of pepper? I do. Okay, I like to man. tear up. Your name is Pelumi. You like, come like on, pepper. like come on, <laughs> <laughs> literally. You so where is like now? So where is like top? You're gonna run, obviously outside of Nigerian food. Nigerian food is the best food in Africa. Fat. Would you say that about the jollof though? Sorry, just. Mm. Why are you me like that? No, no, she, uh, she's yeah, answered. Yeah. She's, 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 she's not one of us. Don't you travel that that's so dumb. Ah, that's so dumb. That's of tourism. That's not a food. <laughs> oh, joy. <laughs> but yeah, because I'm sure you must have tried so many different types of jollof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And obviously, honest, yes, Nigerians will say we have the best jollof. But was there and a jollof? And the Ghanaians will say they have the uh, best. Exactly. I don't think there's no, a reason why we're competing with each other. Like... <laughs> No, but did you, know. you try a jollof that was like, wow, oh, yeah. this is this is different. This is, this is different. And Senegal, bro, they have wolof, they have jollof. Ooh, what is wolof, though? I'm sorry. Is, I'm, I, I, I don't mean to be respectfully. Yeah, that's I, the original yeah. name for jollof. You know, okay. they are the origins no, of, of... Yeah, so it's obviously over time, it's changed. So it did not originate in Nigeria? <laughs> no! <laughs> we like to Something we that we're fighting over, that's not even us. We are <laughs> not <laughs> the owners. We are not the owners. We are not the owners. We are not the owners. Those are our aunties that always serve food in party. In fact. That they would carry jollof fries. We just have a variation. Obviously, we do like smoked jollof. Like I always bought the original, original, original. I know basmati. I don't know. Anyway. They were saying basmatic. Basmatic. But us, Nigeria, one thing I love about us is that 
We will pick something from another culture. And we'll take it. And we'll rock. We will own make, that. Make it like, but we always make it, you know, better ours, most yeah, times. Yeah. That's it, why. Yeah. We kind of upgrade the thing that we take. Just like our piano. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Senegal. Senegal. The best. Senegal, really. Like when I put it in my mouth, I think it's just the way they serve just it as well. It's not try. just, it's not just jollof. You know, jollof is just mm. rice, you know, the way we cook it. But they serve it like a whole platter. So they have like, in the middle, they have like the fish. And because I think the fish soaks into the, it's just, it's just, it's just rich. You know, and then they have vegetable that's been deeply like cooked or steamed. And it's just like, it's beautiful. You eat it with your hand and you're just like inside the food. Like, I think maybe the, the hand eating as well. There's just something. That yeah. give it a pizzazz. Mm, mm, mm. That sounds I like, could go back again. very nice. Yeah. I think really we need nice. to try that. We need to try that. Get some Senegal. We need yeah. to do. We need what we need Let to do Senegal. is go with Oremi Travels. Come on, go to Africa. Exactly. And no, no, 100%, some countries, 100%, 100%, do BTS, do 100%, 100%, speak to the people 100%. there. Hundred percent. We love that. So, what's still staying in Africa? We uh, Morocco. Mm-hmm. How many times have you been to Morocco? Twice. You've been to Morocco twice. Mm-hmm. There's people. People always say uh, Morocco is not safe for black women. Mm. What, what was your experience like? Fact. Oh, was it like that? just like that. It was like that. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. I was trying to give it a second chance with this trip. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, you know what? First experience. And I'm always want to tell that people that, like, you know. Try it. Try it, you know. Even if you had a bad experience, it could just be a bad apple. But I think it's a cultural thing. I think they just don't respect women over there. You know, it's just, especially if you're solo. If you're with a person, your partner, they tend to be a bit more respectful. When they notice you're solo. Like, you know, walking through, like, the Madeira, like, the, the Marrakesh market and stuff like mm-hmm. that. I have, I've I've been approached by you know I grew up in Lagos you know so mm. I've gone through Oshodi and Balogu the rest market. about local markets yeah. and be pulled my sister come and look at my shop but that's something mm-hmm. but it's just that sexualization that come when you go through Marrakesh it's just that when they pull you or say something it doesn't feel good yeah. it just feels yeah. quite dirty it's very manipulative they'll tell you direction and it's like a dead end and just like give us money to get. like really that. manipulative oh. things that didn't so that make me feel happens. good it does happen so I remember like even my first encounter like I was like maybe I'm wearing western clothes you know nothing mm-hmm. crazy like I dress like modest most, most of the time but maybe that's why they're picking on me like let me wear their you know abayas yeah, 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 and like yeah, yeah. nah bro that did not help situation so my second encounter which I, I haven't really spoken about much was actually in um up in the Atlas Mountain. Um it was cold, you know, up in the mountains colder than mm-hmm. down. And then um I got myself a lodge or like a hotel I, because it's off season when I went. So mm-hmm. I was the only one guest. And let's I'm just gonna make up my n- numbers. So it was like, you know what? If you're in the room it's fifty dollars, but if you get a massage it's forty dollars. Okay, that's disgusting. I literally rolled my eyes and I was like, I'll just have the room please. I go upstairs, go take a shower. It's not you know, a long day of traveling. Just like if I if there was daytime, you know, I didn't want to risk you know traveling at night or whatever. And I went up because it was so cold. I gave him my hot water bottle that I, sl- I usually sleep for cold reasons. Yeah. So fill it up. I was in the shower. I just hear do 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 do. I was like, um, thank God I always lock my door. So I, uh, and then why is this guy trying to open the door? No, stop okay. it. I swear to God, thank God my door was locked. You know, mm-hmm. so, so I, I did order for dinner because I didn't eat it all day. So I went downstairs. And it was like, oh, you know, I was just eating the food as quickly as possible. Time <laughs> so to, so I can just get out to go back yeah, yeah. in my room. Mm-hmm. And as I was about to get up, he just grabbed my ties and goes, what about that massage? And I think the anger that boiled within my soul, Stop. like I wasn't defending myself at that point. I was defending every woman and I slapped his hand. And I was oh, like, don't you no. ever touch a woman like that. You know, what so was that, reaction? he was just shocked. He was very playful, what? very smack on his face. Like, just like, <laughs> you know, that kind of like, oh, you know, I'm just playing with you, that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. So that is the reality of traveling solo as a f- female. Yeah. That is people's fear. And that's why I never dismiss that like, oh, you can do this. That is, it's so sad that we live in society where women have to you know fear for this kind of yeah, thing there's no there's no protection um, like that. yeah, the fear, yeah. Uh, the fear I'm, is very valid i'm very sorry because when i see people like people go to morocco it's mm. all, it's the same places that in the resort mm. like closed mm. they're not trying to explore mm. yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah yeah which is sad which is sad i think they like, need to roll out a campaign or something like that yeah, in, like, just to sensitize board, people just to feel you know to do something about it i think right now their mentality is we have so much to offer which they do mm-hmm. morocco is stunning you know, you have the Can Atlas you pronounce mountain. this place for me? I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're going to make me say that thing, don't you? The blue city. C-H- yes. Sh- 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 <laughs> you know, you're not telling me how to pronounce it. No, I get it. I told a local to teach me and then I forgot. Oh. But Chef Chevron. Chef, Chef Chevron. We'll put the video. Yeah, sorry, beautiful. guys. Have you seen it? No, you know. It's blue. Stunning. Everywhere is blue. Stunning. Wow. Bro, stunning, stunning, it's blue. Stunning, stunning. Everywhere stunning there is just blue. They painted um, the buildings to blue. Everything, everything. It's a tourist location, but it's so nice. 
so nice. Everything I've heard about Morocco has just been negative. Even yeah, that, the, the that, that view is one of the best parts I drove through, like the Atlas Mountain, especially like you go through the canyons and it's like the roads are like squarely and it's just my love for kind of kind of road trip. I could drive Morocco Road all day long and I love the diversity. You can go up to the mountain, you can go to Marrakesh and have like a bustling city and they have the coastline. So there's just so much diversity. You can visit mm. one country and have so many experiences, mm. but they definitely need to work with that kind of like just educate. No, no I don't know course. what they did. Just roll out a whole campaign to educate people, mm-hmm. educate the men. That's just not right. Like two questions. One, you're a woman that's done quite a lot of solo traveling. Mm-hmm. Where in Africa or in general would you advise? Where have you felt the safest mm-hmm. that you would advise a woman to travel? Anywhere but solo? Morocco. Honestly, that's oh, only really? been my place. Okay. Like from the whole other places, mm-hmm. I did not feel. I live in any kind of way. It's just literally Morocco. just that just okay. that one country. Mauritania was amazing. Every other country was just great. Yeah. Yeah. And then you also did the drive. You've been to quite a few African countries. Mm-hmm. Um, where would you recommend to travel to? Where do you think is a must see in Africa? Mauritania. It's so low key. It's like Morocco thirty years ago. So it's oh, very nice. you know if you I, have I'm to, so I'm sorry. Go on. Do you know I actually thought it's the same as Mauritius. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I was just about to ask that. you where is that? I, I was just about to ask you. Mauritania. That's what that's Mauritania. What, yeah, that's the most country. Yeah. Mauritania. It's so low key. Like you know your it's very recently that travel content creators and bloggers started going there and creating mm. content around. They have like the Clout. one of the longest train in the world, three three kilometers. Whoa. It's called the Snake of the Desert. It's amazing experience. Mm. Um but you know, it's so organic or so culturally immersive that you don't need to go looking for it. You know, like with West Western Europe and stuff like that, you need to go and yeah. find these places because yeah. everything's so commercialized and everything. Mm-hmm. But there it's just authentic, you know, really, really nice experience. I loved it. I it's loved it. a vacation for me. <laughs> mm. you say bay or bay there are other, there are other options there are <laughs> other options you know? okay. <laughs> I think if you're, if you're an adventure seeker or just something unique not your conventional it depends on your kind of couple you know, okay, dynamic couple. just if we're going to relax can Mauritius we... I think is beautiful yeah Mauritius is probably Mauritius more of a vacation kind of but Mauritius vacation. is not in Africa that's what I just it noticed it is in Africa no it's, it's in the Indian Ocean is that am I, co- am I correct in Africa which one is in Africa please Mauritius or Mauritius Mauri- just Tania. for the audio listeners our producer is back and he has had his show and he's smiling he's smiling he's smiling that's the first time he smiled today actually <laughs> that is what the taste, taste of Lagos does to I wish you could pan the camera oh my god it change your mood he literally was smiling he his mood he his spirits if you're having a bad day if you want to comfort eat come on the taste of Lagos is Mauritius in Africa or not? Please, just, yeah, educate Mauritius me. Did you pass there when you were going to? I didn't go to Mauritius. I but went to Mauritania. it's in Africa, right? Google it. Mauritius is in Africa. Is it in Africa? Is it in Africa? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I slept through geography, but I know Mauritius is in, is, Africa. is in Africa. Where did you say? Is it in the Red Ocean? Africa. Indian Ocean. No. That's what you say. in Africa. No so worry. which one of them is in the Indian Ocean? None. <laughs> so is that Indian Ocean in Africa? <laughs> Indian Ocean. Is in India. Oh God! Please, let's keep that Mauritius. Let's keep that Mauritius. Mauritius is in Africa. Is in Africa. Is in Africa. Where is an island? Is an island. Is an island located on the India. Yeah. Yes. Everything is correct. But it's in Africa. Where's the Indian Ocean? That's what I'm trying to. You see what I'm saying? Maybe it's the name. Maybe the Indian Ocean expands into Africa too. I'm not sure. Does it? <laughs> See, all these geographical <laughs> like, <I> should... <laughs> <laughs> I, That's what I'm saying. I've Googled But it's definitely an African country. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so okay. Mor- you, you advised me to go to Mauritius. I think so, yeah. yeah okay. Is it Bacos? It's, 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 it's a, a nice really beautiful vacation. place. I've yeah, never nice. been, but I want to. You know, I've got a very interesting question. I petrol. How hmm. did you deal with petrol? Because obviously, UK petrol is different to... Yeah, that's true. All these other it countries. It's the same. Petrol. Why do people think it's different? Nigerian petrol is not the same as UK Well, petrol. I put it in my car and Lumi was cool it with move? it, you know. It moved, you know. Lumi's got a very good digestive system. She then. does. <laughs> it's a small engine as well. So I don't think, you know, a little goes a long way. So was her. you topping up? How often was you topping up? Um, Depends on how far I was driving. So it really depends on, you know, the distance. So every day, every other day, you know. What, Did you, you wake up and plan your day? Like, okay, yeah. today I want to drive this much distance. Yeah. Um, so I had like a general idea of where I wanted to be at certain days. Okay. Um, because I didn't know how long it would take me. Mm-hmm. But it was even so how I feel, you know. The time of the month, you know, time of what adventure I found, who I met, maybe I'll stay an extra day. It wasn't a strict timetable. Okay, right. so you didn't have, timetable. I want to get to Nigeria I, by this I had that because it was my mom's 60th birthday. So I was meant to get to Nigeria March 23rd. 
Um, but the accident, I had to move it to April 7th. So I missed her birthday, actually. We oh, had like a whole family cruise thing, but it's okay. She's forgiving me, so that's good. <laughs> did, uh, how did you get around the Waze maps? Google Map was the plug. Like, I Damn. used I used Waze, the blue moon, but Google Map. Download the offline app. I always tell people, make sure you have the offline, offline just app. in case offline your digit, your, you, don't, you run out of data or your data oh, kind of side. Download the offline apps, um, app maps. And then, yeah, we just drove. put the destination. And sometimes to lead you astray, you know, because it's not always updated to the T. But it did. And then what did you, you do then? in Lagos? You will keep running, running around and you ask locals and you oh get lost and you get days. found. See, people will be okay. The way you made the trip look was like <laughs> yeah. it was you easy. You glamorized it. I could yeah. yeah. I really, really tried to I show. I could get in my car and I could just. I really tried to I, show. I, I really felt like sleep. I could you know? get in a car and just drive. Yeah. Maybe you should watch the YouTube. He has more details. Okay. The YouTube. He has a lot. More details. Yeah. Instagram, like you I've, say, it's just it just bites I've, a bit. I watched the first episode. Yeah, when YouTube. day six, you're 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 behind. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> it's London. It's the right race. We have to walk. Balance. I understand. Yeah. I understand. But, yeah, yeah. It's Thank not you easy watching. because you even just saying the YouTube. You thinking of getting to Nigeria driving, mm. thinking of recording content that Literally. you could put out when you come back, thinking of surviving, thinking. Mm. It was a lot of hard to wear. This is an expedition. Normally, it's run by a whole team. Exactly. You have exactly. the camera That's crew, you, you have the chef, you have the medic, you have the logistic person. I had to wear so many hats. Psychologist. So many to say, hats. Are you okay now? And that's, I think, that's what. Makes you cannot you take away different. from me. Yeah, that's what makes you. There's this very, level of confidence. Different. There's this level of self awareness. It's just kind of like, damn, I did that. Like you know. That's why the Nigerian yeah, government yeah. had to tap in. They now. gotta do what gotta do. Uh, I don't know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a serious you person. The, you mentioned the accident. Is this mm. something that uh, obviously you've done a lot of interviews? Mm. Have you been able to like detail, process it? No, not process okay. it. Okay. Like, have you been able to unpack to say, okay, what what actually happened? I know like bad roads. Mm. Or, like, no, the roads was fine. There was nothing to do with it. So, what well, if you don't mind? Just... Of course. So after going through the whole li- Liberia shenanigans, I was okay. like, okay, we're just gonna have a good time in Ivory Coast. Like, we're gonna clean the. So slate. you're into your Liberia. You're Literally, into Ivory, Ivory Coast, Coast is now. the next place. So I woke you know, up by the crack of dawn. Ivory Coast is my second country. You know. Really? Yeah. To oh, Paris, France? No. Oh. She said no. <laughs> No, because they always asking them like, no, 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 catastrophic. No. Abidjan, <laughs> Abidjan is amazing. Yeah, Abidjan, definitely, Abidjan, definitely. Yeah. Go check it out. Um, so yeah, I was crossing the border, woke up at the crack of dawn. You know, I'm kind of like that early riser kind of thing, and it's good when you're wild packing, like wild sleeping. You can't be sleeping in till people go to work, so mm. you gotta wake up quickly. Mm. Um, <laughs> did my old freshen up routine, blah blah blah, and I was like, I'm crossing the border today. We're gonna go early, so there's no trouble. I'll be the first customer they see. <laughs> <sighs> boy was that not a good idea so got there at 10 o'clock in the morning they looked at me I looked at them they looked at me I looked at them it's like cool pay 60,000 safers which is about $100 it's not a lot you know not a lot but I don't want to be involved well, in that 60, to you it's not a lot yeah. but to them to them is a lot yeah, because, to them is yeah, a lot like, and no, and even let me get it right yeah. to me it was a lot because when you're spending so much like I'm doing I'm not dropping a hundred yeah. bags mm-hmm. you know that's a few accommodations yeah, for a few course, nights you know um, so I'm like no I'm not paying that because I did my research and you're not meant to pay nothing you know you mm. give me the <laughs> Don't insurance <play>. maybe <laughs> um, and then the clearance to just literally go to your country again this is a transit thing I'm not staying here for months you know um, and the guy's like, okay, it seems like you're not going. Uh, the detailing, like, we'll go into that. So another thing that happened was like, because I was vlogging the whole experience, they spotted my camera because in the frustration, I was kind of recording a documentary. Mm-hmm. Like, look, we go through here. This one that they might ask you to do. This is how you stand mm-hmm. your ground. He saw me doing that. They panicked because apparently some two TikTokers had come in a year ago got a whole bunch of people fired because they exposed what the heck they were doing. But clearly they don't learn, you know? Mm-hmm. So it, just, it was like, you have to, they literally move to the office. The, the house is basically the office as well. So you go in there and there's a sitting room and it's like literally, they're chill. They don't have to leave. That's why I said border control and border investment and rotating these people so they don't get comfortable. There's so much information that I have to have on our, on our West African borders. Um, so it's like, you have to delete that. I started deleting flat files, what? deleting, deleting for my phone, for my um, DJI kind of like camera I use for vlogging. And this went from 10 to 7 p.m. Wow. It literally let me go because it was literally time to, like they were to, to go, up. they had to literally close up. Mm-hmm. Um, I looked around, I was like, I don't feel safe here. Let me just drive to Yamasukru, which was meant to be my stop for that day. Mm-hmm. Biggest church in the world. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're going to <laughs> checkpoints and stuff like that. It was a really dark road, you know. And honestly, I cannot explain more than the fact that one minute I was driving, the next I wasn't. 
it was that quick. Apparently, there had been a packed truck in the middle of the road. No hazard light. Normally, they'll put even leaves on the floor just to warn you that mm-hmm. something is stationary. Good. It happened so quickly, you know. Um, thank God I wasn't speeding. Because if I was speeding, that would have been gone. I would have been gone, like finished. Um, but the whole car was impacted. And I was sitting in the car and literally my phone, I didn't even know that iPhone is processed to do that. It's just like, it seems like you've been in a car accident. I'm calling for help. It was so busy. I think that's where it registered that, oh, I've been in an accident. Um, and then I was trying to open the door, trying to you know remove my seatbelts and, ro- and it was jammed shut. Oh, so I had to crawl through the passenger side of the car. Yeah. And thank God for Grey Anatomy. I'm 20 episode in. So I had to do like the me whole too. physical check. I'm like, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. And I called my mom. I was like, you know. Are you okay? Are you sitting down? I think that's why I said, Mom, are you sitting down? It's like, what's wrong? It's like, I've just been in a car accident. Oh, and she was yeah. she had to be like calm in her voice, so I was not panicking and everything, but I knew she was panicking. Um, and you know, because of the impact, my own kept on going, like just oh. blurring out. So I think the neighbors heard it, the community, they were like, What is it? It wasn't like a it was like ah! <laughs> like constant so they came with a flashlight and you know, I'm like bro I don't understand anything I'm blind that would have been scary. fire you know and then on the street straight away they saw the, the impact they saw my airbags then they knew that you know a car accident has happened so I call, I'm just so glad it happened where it happened and you know they had all these resources and stuff like that because I don't know where to start from in a way um, and also I have a local contact because that's what I was I was getting towards um, Abidjan I was going to meet up with Afro Foodie. She does um, food stuff. Her name is Yasmin. Amazing lady. She she housed me for the time that my car had to be fixed and everything. Oh, nice. um, so I was taken to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a lady in the community that just had this heart-to-heart connection, you know. So she was the one that actually recorded all that clips you guys saw. Because wow. when that was happening, that was the last thing. I'm yeah, that's going, what I was going to say. Feel like, my legs, I'm feel my... I'm you, <laughs> you know? when I saw that, I was like, okay, <laughs> what is what going, is going on? on? So because this, my life literally lives in the car. So as we're going, there was this, literally the blue backpack I brought in today. Mm-hmm. It had all my camera gears, my laptop, my phone, everything. So that was the only thing I grabbed. So I think she was looking for my ID. So she was, I've emptied my bag. So she saw camera gears. I had like about three or four cameras on me. Mm-hmm. Um, so she just thought I was a journalist. So I mm-hmm. think that registered that, oh, she must want to record or something. Oh, or something. Oh, bless her. So she just bless put her. one she plus two recording. together. It was after I was discharged that went this car. I was like, oh, what, what's this, no, you know? That, and that's like, oh, she's like, I thought you would want is... to remember. Like, she did Google Translate. Like, she speak French only. Mm-hmm. But she stayed with me for two days. That's the, the woman that you was in the car. In and, the car, yeah. and I was thinking, and you know. she was shy. So, yeah. She's so shy. She's yeah. lovely, honestly. That is um, crazy. So, yeah, she stayed. She debated me. She fed me. Like, she was just like, no intention, no secret motive. Wow. Like, it really boosts my, you know, trust and just love for humanities. Like, yeah. so, yeah, that's what happened. It was just some, you know, when they did the research, they were like, um, the investigation, the police, you know, told my car and they reached and they were like do you want to press charges to the because the truck people came to apologize and you know what can they do to help and everything they were like do you want to press charges and I was like they were at the wrong but honestly I shouldn't have been at the road at that time is the ripple effect of the bodies hundred dollars could have of literally course. cost my life of course so yeah. that is the issue that's where we should be it's like you know charging it's the not, truck yeah. driver would be you know putting a blast plaster on of the course, wound yeah. you know you know that um, was a negative situation yeah mm. but uh, in it brought your whole journey mm. to life mm. in terms of let's this talk is about what, that yeah this is what could happen let's this talk about that happen. how it's quite sad that it was yeah. that that led some people posting about my journey exactly. especially nigerian bloggers do which you, is so sad do you get a, that's exactly what i'm saying in terms of like it's a negative but it brought it to life yeah, yeah. with even the nigerian bloggers mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. that's all they were that's what they were looking for when they should have yeah. been posting you from, well, the, from the beginning because mm-hmm. the nigerian bloggers they post nonsense sometimes <laughs> well nonsense. all the time that's why they're always fighting <laughs> with <Bonner Bonner. laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> but it's like that moment even the way like bless that woman yeah for even thinking thinking to call i would have, have never had, had nothing had that, no. you know what yeah, i mean it would have just been a story but yeah. that footage made it yeah Real, like yeah. this is real yeah. life. Yeah, this yeah. is what can happen. And when People something like that happens to you, so you also have a massive life reevaluation I because, that's because nice. you still <laughs> didn't turn back. You didn't <laughs> exactly. say, you know what? I'm gonna go and jump on the plane not, and call it's it not me. Guys. So, guys, like you, guys, you guys let's what. We've caught the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're right done. Now I'm back in London. No, but honestly, a lot of people <laughs> would have done that. Would have? Do you think? And I wonder. I wanted to ask. Do you think? Cause you knew. There, there's, there's actually footage. Mm. You could actually see what, like, okay, 
now I can't stop. You mm. understand? Like I can show people. Yeah, like, what this gave you the? And then it's true. That's yeah, like very, okay, that's like, a very stopping wasn't an option. I don't know how to explain. <laughs> Even after that, <laughs> Even after... did I, your mom was... tell you to stop? They were. She was ready to fly there and, and, and jerk, carry me oh home. Yeah, see. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. She was like, <laughs> like I'm already checking it. for flights. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'm like, Mom, you, you can't come. It defeats the whole solo driver. <laughs> you know, what? like yeah. it's it's. She obviously like every every parent and everything. Um, but I couldn't. I I don't even know even today because remember this thing have happened and a lot has happened after that. I've actually not had really had time to process this, which has I guess been a blessing in a way. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't get to sink in it and you know. Because if you did, at one point you should though. I will hundred percent. I need to reflect day. and be, and I'm I'm just filled up with gratitude because mm-hmm. honestly, like that truck was carrying um, plywood. Like so, if it was sharp wow. ones, it could have spit. They could have just been. It could have. It would have been headlines of crazy Nigerian That's woman guys. You know, <laughs> like. It she would, for she, bees, you know? be, yeah, it would have been be what were a parent looking at when she so it, it would have just been a why, mess is that why you cried when you got to Lagos like oh the emotions that came over me you know um, yeah, so that, that was that oh that was, was, was I like wasn't expecting I, was, I think I said saying like that was a moment it was like I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry I've done this whole makeup I'm not gonna cry and once I saw my dad and he was tearing up from the distance and I was there in the car and I was like oh that's it floodgates of heaven because um, I saw the the, no, no, the footage no, no, the camera, Nigerian parent, even if you, you leave them footage. for one year and they see you at the airport, they'll be no, crying. No, I think it was that, that yeah. impact of they could have lost me. You know, mm-hmm. it was a lot of things. Like and my dad said this in the interview, like, look, for the world, this was great entertainment. For them, they, it was yeah. horror. You know, it was a horror film for them. Mm-hmm. So I was very appreciative for their support. Like they could have just, you know, <laughs> like, oh yeah, come back home. <laughs> and I won't blame them because it was actually a lot. Yeah. I'm telling you, I would, me personally, um, I would have tapped out after that, I would be like, hey, there were so many options, and and even another thing. Yes, yeah, they God, you are talking to <laughs> you me. Are talking to me. To I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Your, your servant is coming. No, but you still took it as God. You're talking to me. Carry on. Carry on. That was literally the message. It was Trials just. It was just too yeah. much to, you know. And even the and options of like. like um, uh, Ivory Coast is so close to Nigeria. It's, that's the yeah, thing. That's the feeling. It was almost like failure at the edge of breakthrough. You know, some prayers like that. But yeah, okay, cool. Right there, we've we've had the accident. You've come out of hospital. Now you've seen Lumi. Mm. What is what? How? What is? Yeah, talk mm. us through that. You seen Lumi for the for the first time since the incident. This car mm-hmm. you've had for over five years. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. even got, got you, you this from, far. You know, point A to that. I feel like I disappointed her in a weird way. Was With just, Lumi, just, yeah. How? I freaking you know. Brush the out. No. <laughs> there was just this kind no. of like, first of all, there was gratitude, immense gratitude that I was alive because yes. when you look at that car, that was it was, it was a lot, no, you know, it was a lot. I was just like, woof, like that was there. And then there was definitely the whole conversation of, look, you know, we've said this date. I think we made, we already made the announcement that I'm arriving in Lagos at that date. That's why we had to move the date and everything. Okay. Um, and it was very much, you know, what, what are we going to do? Like, how are we going to fix this? But I don't know. There was just this beam in me. I remember I talking to the mechanic and it was like two months. And I was like, no, five days. We fixed this. <laughs> Literally. Two months. Two months. See, that, That's that, what that, that was, was my, the that was going to be my next question. Yeah. Because if you have an accident like that, if yeah. you've had to, like, if Nigeria, yeah, yeah. you have to fix a car, like, it's going to be at the shop for, for many, many like months. Three or four months. So I literally, it took about 10 days at the end of the day, but I was there every single morning. I would get wow. them food, get them drinks, get them happy. Five, seven men would be working on the car at the same time, panic beating. I was like, I was going to buy spare parts. I was going to the market. I was involved. Wow. Like I was like, yeah. you know, it was like you should be resting. Like nah, nah, nah. The, this vision is bigger than people just rest. will say this is film trick, you know. I, like, I, I, I heard the most craziest things. Like oh, she tracked it. She crashed it intentionally for views. I'm like, bro, did you see my life? I like my life. I don't want. To. That's what I'm saying. People you know? say this. Is, people this be is moving trick. mad. You know, even this is I'm here, and they say ten days. Like, yeah, you told them like, you ten must days. Fix it in I was like, you gotta fix it, and it's not like I'm just telling you and I'm sleeping in my house. I'm in the garage with you. Like literally, money tonight. We are doing it together. I'm putting wow. bolts. I'm putting this. I'm going to spray wow. shop. Like I saw the whole process from be- that's how the crude footage from beginning to the end to show the tree transformation. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, it was intense. It was intense. You know, I was not able to see Abidjan as much as I would love to, but I'm just grateful that they were able to fix it as quick as. And again, shout out to the Nigerian embassy because they were the one that plugged me with the with the mechanic. It was the embassy's oh, it? mechanic basically? Oh, no. oh, wow. Um, he oh, spoke French and Yoruba, which is great because oh, then I could fantastic. communicate with him in Yoruba. That's how we were able to understand each other. It's like, see, uncle, 
exactly like they're waiting for me in lagos i showed him my page he understood the vision so they all bought into it everybody was so you know wanting to just help as much as possible again kindness of strangers yeah it was that's, amazing that's, that's. what is the mileage on lumi oh that's a good question i can grab a picture oh no it's dead sorry oh, <laughs> um Hmm. Take a guess. 90, 91,000? No, I think it'll be more than that. Is, for, for all these countries? Yeah. No, the the, the country's only 10,000 kilo, 10, kilometers. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's yeah, that, yeah. What's that in miles? 10, about 7,000 miles, 7, miles? Yeah. About 7,000 miles, yeah. Wait, 7,000 So miles? you went from 7, London plus miles. to Lagos in... 7,000 miles. Yeah. yeah, because in between, there's the the, the ferry ride. The ferry ride. But then the ferry ride road. is like one one hour, 30 minutes for each bit I did. Yeah, you have to do that. You have to do that. There's literally no other way to cross. <laughs> yeah, which is always so hilarious. Say, it covers, it covers <laughs> that's always the funny one. Like, it's not no longer a drive because you put no, it on the ferry. I'm like, no, no, that's too. You go and do your own. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's Lumi still Lumi still, still active. Right? Yeah. Yeah. She, she, where where is she now? For she's getting donated to a museum um, in Lagos, so she's Aww. gonna be in Monument by this weekend actually. Wow. So you can go see our curating like the experience. So that's like an interactive thing for people to see. They will see, see my that's journey. That's crazy. You've that just is done history. something. It's history, that, man. That is it's history. like you know, it's like Kuti is like you've just the done first something woman that's that, exactly. So, yeah. So kids, 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 grand. kids. And the fact that where she is, she's right now packed the University of Lagos, and people every day go and watch her, like take picture with her. She's already in like a museum. People are so motivated. I get tagged every single day. Like people are like, oh. Just visit Lumi today, like, oh, greet my baby for me. Yeah. <laughs> so we're coming close to the end of um, this episode, but like, how is it like now being the ambassador of mm. Lagos? You know, Lumi's got his own place in history now. Yes. That's the history, because, yeah. you know, people were talking that for about that till the end of time, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's it like being the ambassador? What are your responsibilities? Mm -hmm. And what can people expect from well, you the ambassador of tourism in Lagos, Nigeria. Before, right? before you even answer that, that's, What's that? before you answer that. Sorry, <laughs> but we have because it's the journey. Uh huh. You how you you met the the governor. Yes. So before you even got the role, yes. How was that meeting? And then take us into okay. you becoming ambassador because I okay. want to know what it felt like meeting the the getting, governor and, and the governor him is gifting a really cool, you a car. He's and, a really cool person. Um. Mm? Okay. So the okay. ambassador is a really cool. Like I just went to, you know, appreciate him for the effort they made. Did he in invite you? Oh. It was. It was an invitation. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't. You can just rock up to the governor's place. <laughs> you no, have to no, come I'm to an saying, apartment. No, no, I, <laughs> I understand. I'm just, like who like, reached out to who? Or yeah, something like exactly. that. It, there, it was an invite. It was okay. an invite. Um, but I was just going to say thank you. You know, okay. thanks for inviting me and thank you for thank everything you for you've done so far. Yeah. Um, so it was just a conversation. I showed him a trailer of the journey and everything. I was very impressed and everything. And I was like, oh, you know what? We actually have something to also, you know, applaud you for everything, the good media you brought to the country and everything. So, yeah, that's how I got my car, brand new, customized place, Nubi Niger. Nice. Mm. One, of nice. one of a kind. One of a kind. One of a kind. You know, I love when I'm driving on the road for like hang hang, I'm ambassador. I'm like, yeah. And I love Nigeria. Nigeria. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, oh, that's flex. That's flex. I like yeah. That. Then I got the apartment, and then I got the cost of the trip written off. And then I got the ambassadorship too as well. So it was a very... Everything just changed just like that. Everything just changed, you know, you know. Did you expect that though? No, I went to say thank you. Like, hello, how are you? Thank you, sir. Shake your hand. Get him, you know, mm -hmm. that's it. That was all. There was no expectation. Zero. Mm -hmm. So that... You see, I never expected it. That's, that was my... I that never was my life. Like, my jaw dropped. I was just... So what does that entail, being the ambassador? Yeah. Lagos chosen. So what they were trying, what they're trying to do is definitely sell Lagos. Basically, okay. they're trying to change the narrative of people coming, the visiting, and all of that. So you're just showcasing Lagos as a tourist destination that places people can actually go and visit. You know, the t the narrative right now is dirty December, but Lagos gets <laughs> sunshine, sunshine literally all year round. Mm -hmm. So how so can I, we make people? Sorry, so it's not like saying 
you can come to Lagos to see the first car that was drove from London. Yeah, you can do that as as a literally as a thing. Yeah, there's it's already like a you know my monument or something like that that people can visit and just showcasing the light a light in other places to visit to Lagos and change that narrative about safety. I think that's one of the biggest concerns. Mm -hmm. So already that of speaking to content creators and stuff like that, what are they putting out there? What are people attracted to? What are they are they selling Lagos basically? Nice. And once you sell Did Lagos, you, you sell Nigeria. Me, I always do Lagos. Come on, energy. Has work commenced? Work has commenced for, immediately, for. yeah. Nice. No, I'm not I'm not thinking I'm thinking of I'm thinking of okay, they've made you maybe you might have time to chill and then and just, yeah you know, you, it's you, been official so it just kind of depends on when you know is I, it based on what you want to do or they give you a schedule it's based a lot of the ideas are coming from my side wow. um so they're very very they're literally opening up for me kind of like you know we just have this kind of sorry is it is it salary of course i ain't working for in pounds free. in pounds or naira Top secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, Lagos, the first podcast to have an ambassador. Lagos meets London. Oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> this is exciting. Ambassador. ambassador. What's going to be doing? What's next? What, oh, what's your next So many adventure? things, so many things, so many things, so many um, things. First of all, I'm catching my breath. I've not still done that. That's okay. exactly. You know, yeah. so that's pending next week. I'm so excited for that. Um, next thing is kind of I build an amazing community. I want okay. to see how I can continue to serve them, you know, mm -hmm. better. There's a lot of women that just want to step out of their comfort zone, do crazy, ambitious things. I want to be part of that journey with them, ignite them, just get them on the on the path of where they want to. Mm -hmm. A book, hopefully, like, come on. I want to write movie, a book. Man, I want please. a movie as well. Movie, well movie, There's please. just so many things. The sky seems like the limits and even beyond, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just I so like excited. The sky is a the start, the car is. I love that. The car is the starting point. Start point so there's just so there's many things. So much you can go into. Yeah. You can, honestly, it's yeah. A story yeah. To yeah. Tell. yeah. It's so yes, much to so say. Crazy. You have so many avenues to do that. Yeah. So, but you just mentioned building a community with women mm. and um, and some men. Me <laughs> you can join. You can join. You can join. Exception. <laughs> exception. <laughs> but so you're a Nigerian woman, and you you lived in Nigeria for a bit. Um, the Nigerian passport can be limiting, mm. especially for women. What would you advise for a woman to to do in terms of traveling, seeing the world, mm. trying to beat that limiting factor yeah. that comes with being Nigerian and the passport you get? The passport. I definitely have passport privilege. That's another thing I experienced in this road trip. You know, I have my okay. British and my Nigerian. I didn't okay. play for one visa throughout mm. because... I could use my British to a point, Nigerian to the other. Mm -hmm. But also a lot of travel content creators, travelers, the people that just love travel, they just use the Nigerian passport. My thing is, first of all, you have to make up your mind that traveling is important for you. Right. Once you push past that, you know, then you don't listen to what other people are saying and you have more of a drive and go. Save up your coins, honestly. Traveling is not cheap. I think sure. people don't talk about it enough. You because know, Because it gets glamorized. It gets so, so glamorized. You <laughs> know, the, it's the like, no. People say, you can travel for free. That's a lie. Mm. You have to do an exchange of value, you know, if you're in hotel for free you have to do photography or something like that it's mm -hmm. just gonna be an exchange of value mm -hmm. you know start small everybody think you have to travel to across the world or do london to lagos like i've right, done for right. you to have traveled no mm -hmm. you know visit your city so many beautiful places so many africa. places exactly mm -hmm. so really just start from even your neighboring city you don't yeah. have to even go to africa africa is amazing but mm -hmm. just go to your next door neighbor yeah. you know europe. europe you know whatever it is your wherever your base just try neighboring city for us mm -hmm. visa free countries stack up your record of traveling you know that way you can show that you're a good traveler. You're going to go back to your base. Because that's their concern when it comes to giving out visas. Like, you're not going to come back. So if you're able to show track record, like, I've been to this place, I've been to that place, I've done right. that. That just makes you have a better chance of receiving these visas when inside. So visa-free countries are your best bet. And yeah, just do it. Honestly, put it in your calendar, book that ticket. Um, and yeah, you get better and better over time. Nice. That's, that's, nice. I've, yeah. <laughs> Did you want to add mm -hmm. anything on top of that? No, no that's, that's it's, yeah, it's yeah. well answered. So, we yeah. we've honestly got gained a pool of wealth and knowledge oh, from no, hundred percent. Like, I feel like I was there with you is, now. Your story is inspiring, honestly. Thank you so much. Um, it's so amazing, and we don't want to end on this note. We want to have something fun. So Come on, just um, thank we could you. Sorry, we, we could have gone. Yeah, we, yeah, we could have gone. We could have been just talking the one to the one more. Don't worry. There's, there's an event called the All Nigerian Pop Quiz. Okay. I don't know if you've heard about nope. it. It's like a pop quiz. It's oh, created yes. like a pop quiz. People, Nigerians, come out. They answer questions, pop questions, Kay. relating to Nigeria. Let's the DJ go. is Nigerian. Nigerian host. It's just like been in like in like a bar in Lagos mm -hmm. kind of thing. So mm -hmm. they've asked us to give you. Two free tickets to the oh show. Oh my god! That's if you're amazing. able to attend, is uh, the uh, next is all Nigerian pop quiz 
team is Nigeria versus Ghana. Come on, we need so, to be there. <laughs> they do this every year, no? Uh, yeah, they had one last year. So the next <laughs> okay. one is Friday, the 31st of May. Mm -hmm. nice. This year is in Prince of Peckham. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to, they would appreciate if you could. Okay. Uh, yeah, the person that creates the event. So That'd guys, the next one I jump up quiz, make sure you're Don't there. Don't miss out on it. Have we got tickets? <laughs> If you do, you want to go because the mm. last time they gave us tickets, yeah, there's some we people were, here that we did invited. not go. We were invited. Legacy yeah. Sunday was invited, and we so went. So the people the last we're time going, they gave going. us tickets, the people okay. that yeah. people on and this podcast that didn't go. Well. We had a, <laughs> we, we had yeah. a friend of. I'm podcast. going with Queen P. Come <laughs> on, let's go. No, let's I said go. Queen P. I like that one. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. I'm going with Queen P. Queen P. From today onwards, Queen P. I made it. Queen P. On that note. Um, on that note, we're going to play a quick game because okay. you travelled everywhere. So we have everywhere again. <laughs> you travelled more than the most places, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You travelled travel travel everywhere less compared less. to us. Hey, tension. Um, so we've got some pictures. You've heard of four pictures, one word. Right? Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, these are, might be very easy because I didn't do my homework properly. But you know, hey, let's just. You should say it was hard. Then that way, if I don't get it, <laughs> why do you say it's easy and then I flop I mean, it? Ah. Presentation of you guessing it. So. This picture, when you look at this, what do you see? What country That's is That's America, no? Okay. Wait, 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 okay. Wait. We're going to put we'll it on the it. clip we'll anyways. Clip it, yeah. We'll clip it anyway. That's America, was that right? America. Yes, that okay. was right. Correct. Okay. This one? That's Mexico. China. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I <laughs> this is Canada. Canada. Oh. I didn't even look at the Do you know who you are talking to? Do you know who you are talking to? After we play the game, she'd have understood. You're talking to her. That's, 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 Ken, that's Kenya. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, I remember. Let me you are talking to an ambassador of a tourism. Let me hold the paper. Hold on. Brazil? Oh. Give me the paper. <laughs> okay, last one. Let me just. Hold on, hold on. Spain. <laughs> Please don't ever in your life. This is my tower ambassador. Bless you, fellow mates. Lovely having Thank you. Thank you so no, much, man. I've had a blast. Journey. A lot of people are inspired by you. We are inspired uh, by you. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. For me, what I take away is just live life mm. audaciously. Mm. Do what you want to do. And I think the last message I even would tell people, look, is is April? What are we now? April. April. Mm -hmm. April. If nobody has called you crazy this year, you're playing it too safe. Oh, I love that. That's how we're ending it. If nobody no, has no, called you crazy no, no. this year, you're really playing, you're, you're playing it safe. for this episode. You're playing it too safe. We're calling this episode. Um, no, I've got work to do. Nobody has called you crazy. You're, you're playing, playing it too safe. I've been called weird. Not cra I need that. I crazy. love it. When people call me crazy, it just means I am doing something you cannot even comprehend. Like right. you cannot even process it. And yeah. I've already gone ahead to do it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So be called crazy. It's such a is it my crazy my, pays. Come on, like praise crazy that it pays big. It Crazy pays. Big. pays. Yeah. It pays big. Anyways, so we're going to round up. So Thank you. we are going to say Lagos meets London. We need you to say Wahala. Well, just... Okay. You have the pen. So Should you do this just, one? Yeah, okay. Just write. A little message? message. Okay. Yeah. Follow me was here. Follow me was here. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever you want to write, just to... I'll say best interview mm -hmm. ever because it's actually worse. Mm -hmm. no, we appreciate you CNN. for even, for even, <laughs> for even ITV. coming down and giving us this time. Mm -hmm. We appreciate oh, you. It's not, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a marker. For, 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 for opening up. We For opening up. We appreciate you for sitting down with us and talking to us. You it's know, pleasure, it does it, it's not easy. We know you've done so many of these already. So yeah. you must be like, oh my God. Nah, but fun, you came, you gave us your energy. We love you. We appreciate that. We are behind you. Thank you. Um, so you to me? sign off, we're going to say Lagos meets London. Okay. Wahala. So Just say that, that. So we okay. say Lagos meets London. One person says Lagos meets London and the rest... We'll you say should Wahala. say Lagos meets London. Okay. Oh, because you, yeah, you are the real... You, you are, are the one that has walked, 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 Yes. And drove the drove. Cha -cha. <laughs> this is the walking. This is the walking. Cha -cha 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 <laughs> Not just sitting Honestly, in the studio. Honestly, are you ready? Like, did you get it? One, two, three... Lagos meet London. Wahala! <laughs> Crazy. Make sure you like, comment, comment and so subscribe. subscribe. Can you tell it. them, please? Please, I just got to beg you. Make please. Hit it. Please. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank and you. Guys, so follow Pelumi's page. <laughs>
Yes, follow me on Instagram. Let me follow, let me follow right our now. YouTube. <laughs> so, subscribe yeah, to the YouTube channel. Please do. Or let me travel. If you want to travel with your friends, you bridesmaid, not every time you do stripper. <laughs> do oh, Johnny. <wow. laughs> and guys, we cannot forget to shout out Taste of Lagos. Honestly, um, right. best that shawarma best is still Lagos in my good. brain. That's the best thing I've eaten in a long time. Ten out of ten, man. Ten out of ten. Belumi said it as well. So, and Belumi has tried food from different places. I've tried plenty, plenty. So you know she's. I can be a food critic, like for real. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Taste of Lagos. Oh, no. And yes. you guys, get your food from them and tell yes. them we sent you from Lagos, Miss London. Thanks, guys. Woo! Bye. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>